Here I am, sitting with all my buddies talking about metal detecting. Bunch of dummies. Hey YouTube, we're at Petrolia Ontario today. We're going to go check out Crescent Park and then we're also going to do a little bit of detecting at an 1800s Victorian home. So let's go check in with the historian. Hey guys, welcome to Crescent Park. I'm here with the historians uh, Dave and Steve. They'll uh, go through a little bit of the history of the area and where we're going to be digging today. Well Steve, our viewers would like to know how this affluent park came to be. Well, if you want to know how Crescent Park came to be, you kind of have to know how Petrolia came to be. So uh, in the early 1860s, uh, oil springs were found on the edge of the Bear Creek actually only a few hundred feet off to our east here and uh, kind of an interesting little story when they dug into these uh, oil springs about 20 feet down they found uh, they found antlers deer antlers and uh, that kind of kind of lets you know that uh, First Nations were probably here digging wells here long before the Europeans ever showed up but uh, anyways uh, a few flowing wells were found here even before the King Well was discovered. And uh, that started the Petroleum oil boom. And uh, in the early 1860s, a Crescent Oil Company bought this land up and began producing oil here. And by the uh, early 1870s, the oil boom was in full uh, swing. And uh, I understand that a guy by the name of Lancy bought this land to develop it for uh, the uh, newly minted uh, oil barons of the town. Well, as far as I know, I just know about Henry Warren Lancy, and he bought the park in 1872. And by 1874, there was 13 homes constructed around the edge of the park. Uh, the streets were named after his family, Emma, Emmeline, Ella, uh, and Henry, and Warren. Those were the street names, all after his daughters and his wife. So Dave, I understand that uh, Lancy actually built his home here in Crescent Park. Yes, his home still exists today. It's Lancy Hall. And we can go over and meet the homeowner, Martin Dillon. Hey Marty, good morning, good to see you. How are you doing? Great. So I understand that the house was built uh, in the early 1870s, Marty. Yeah, this house was registered in 1876 and the plan was originated about 1872 so the houses started construction throughout 72 to 76. Well Marty, maybe you could fill us in with the rest of the background of the home. Well, Lancy lived in the house for a year or two and then he sold it to a developer, um, Elijah Pinery. And he lived in the house for a few years and uh, it eventually went into the hands of the Fairbank family and a few other owners and then we bought the house in 99 in 1999 and uh, we've been here for almost 20 years uh, we've we've got a guest book with over a thousand names in it so we've had some pretty good tours in the house it's it's been a great house for us so far well, that sounds really cool why don't we pass it over to greg and see what he can find sounds like a good idea it's time to get to detecting. So on today's dig, we're using the Garrett AT Max. We're also using the new Garrett Carrot with Zealand capability. And just so you're wondering, this video is not sponsored by Garrett Metal Detectors. All right guys, second hole. And we got a big, big copper in here. I'm not even sure what it is.
Probably just a American largy. That's what she is. <laughs> Let me see. Second hole. Oh my. Oops, it's great. What do you think? If it's wet, you can see it actually better. It, let them spray it. Got, got Lady Liberty on the back, on one side. Oh, I just dropped that a year ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You can see it actually. Oh wait a minute, you're older than me, that's right. <laughs> United States of America. Yeah, that side's really rough, eh? Well that's cool. There it is. Mine's the one with the horse. Uh, this one right here. This one? That one right Number there. five. Huh. That one. Yeah. All right, so we're potentially on the honey hole. Just got another coin out of here, so we will clean off the dirt. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Nineteen forty five, not quite as old as I wanted, but <laughs> hey, it's one of two thousands. There's another one for your collection. <laughs> <laughs> These are the things that uh, Greg's found in the park yeah. here. Eighteen fifty. What'd you find? <laughs> we have roundness. Roundness. Let's check it out. Ooh, it's an Indian. No way. Oh, cool. Oh, good enough. Looking nice and light. It's kind of it's bent a little bit. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. We finished up the digs today. A um, little bit of iron treasure, some square nails. Uh, we did get some coins. Um, 1886 American large cent. Um, 1888 Indian head penny. Um, some modern Canadian pennies, and we did get a 1945 Canadian leaf cent. So pretty awesome. And uh, thanks for letting us dig on your property. Well, I'm glad you found some stuff. Yeah, thanks for uh, coming out and helping yeah, out today. No so, problem. Uh, Steve's already left us today, so uh, we'll catch up with him later. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We are SOD. Mm -hmm.